The Emerald Whelpling is one of the coolest pets in all the classic World of Warcraft. And it's not just my opinion that says that. It's actually one of the most expensive. Off the top of my head, I think only the disgusting Oozling usually sells for more. And honestly, for good reason. This pet's really sick. As far as I know, it only drops off the Whelplings that spawn in this area. And it might only be the Dreaming Whelp. But I have heard stories from my friends that the Adolescent Whelp did drop for them on classic servers. So I want to test that out today. I'm going to kill 500 of these little flying rats. And we're going to see what loot we get. Obviously, hopefully, we want the pet. I don't really know what else these guys dropped that would be worth anything. But my bags are all clear. We got the spot all to ourselves. My kill tracker is not reset. Okay, now it's reset. So we're going to do 502 of these today. <laughs> But I gotta be honest with you guys, to be out of Winter Spring, I am so happy. I was getting wrecked there yesterday. I mean, not necessarily wrecked, but like, I couldn't relax, dude. I couldn't just like turn my brain off and farm. I was just constantly, constantly having to PvP. And, you know, I love PvPing, but I guess it's like a mindset thing, right? Like, I'm in the farm mindset. I want to just kill as many mobs as fast as I can. So... According to Wowhead, these things have a 0 0.023 chance of dropping. So basically, even if you kill 500 of them, that still only gives you what, like 20, 25, something like that percent chance to seeing one. So you would have to kill about 3,000 to guarantee, not even to guarantee, but to like mathematically, mathematically equate you to getting one. So 500 really isn't even that much. I might be insane for trying this, but... You know, I haven't gotten an epic in the last four or five videos, and we've killed so many mobs that, like, I figure something good has to drop soon, so why not push it and go for something big? I've been sitting in this lake for about two or three minutes now, just waiting for a single one to respawn, and I gotta be honest with you. I think we're gonna have a long day, dude. <laughs> Is this a bot? No, it's not. Not a bot. I had to do my daily bot check. Ooh, small flame sacks. Okay, so we will make money from here. That's big. At least small flame sacks, I can make chili and sell it. At least we can do something with those. It's not going to be a total, total waste. You know, I think farms like this are my favorite because every kill, every single kill, every single one could be the one. It's a 50-50 chance. It either drops or it doesn't, right? All right, dudes. We're at 99 total kills. We got 51 of the Dreaming Whelps, 48 of the Adolescent Whelps, and I have realized they absolutely do share a timer. So if you guys do want to farm these, make sure you're just killing every single dragon you see, and that's absolutely what we're doing here. So for our 100th kill, we got a whopping 1 silver, 51 copper. Sweet. Just what we wanted. Guys, I'm going to throw some tunes on and quit blabbering for the rest of this, but... My thoughts, I can already tell. This one's going to test me. This one's going to be a long farm. You're going to have to just sit here, own it, make sure nobody else comes to this spot, takes it for a while. But I'm having a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. This is definitely my favorite type of farm, right? It's like every single one could be the one, you know? Every single kill could have the item. It's, it's, it either drops or it doesn't, right? But anyways, that's enough blabbering. Let's get right into this.
three hours later. All right, guys, so here we are at 500 kills. It did take a long amount of time. We didn't get any epics, and we didn't get the Emerald Whelpling pet. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not satisfied. I know that the name of the series is 500 kills and whatever, but today I think I'm going to break the rules, and I'm going to go for 500 more kills. I do have to just give it a little bit more because I do want to catch it on video. I think it would be sick. So either way, let's crack back into this and see what happens. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, guys, yes, there it is, dude, there it is, you gotta stick it out, dude, there it is, yes, bro, I decided to stick it out, I decided to go for an extra 500, just because I wanted to give you guys, like, the best, you know, realist experience possible of this farm, and we did it, dude, I wanted to even this farm out to make sure we got 500 Dreaming Whelps, because they are the ones that dropped the mob, and I wasn't satisfied that we only had like 200 or whatever when we had 500 kills in total. So I decided to go the extra mile and push it and it paid off, dude. It fucking paid off, man. I, I, I don't want to drag on on this too long, man. But I really, I felt, I felt a little bad about making the mistake yesterday with the caches and the frost small echoes. And I always want to give you guys the best possible experience when it comes to these videos. And oh, man. If that's not a good sign, I don't know what is, dude. I, I'm going to power out these next 150 Dreaming Whelp kills just, just for the sake of doing it and finishing it and doing that nice crispy thumbnail. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in a sec. 2,000 years later. All right, guys. I am way too tired to say anything cool, but we are at 999 total kills here. I cannot believe I decided to go for the extra 500. It was the best decision I've made in a couple days, for sure. It led us to get the tiny emerald whelpling. Normally, I don't spoil the loot, but I mean, we got the tiny emerald whelpling. This thing normally takes like 5,000 kills. We decided to go the extra mile, and it paid off. So, on my server, this guy sells for like 500, anywhere between 500 and 1,000 gold. But... To me, I'm gonna be honest. This dude's priceless. With the amount of, with the amount of time we put into it, there's no way I'm not gonna go ahead and use him right here. So, without further ado, let's break him out. Nice. <laughs> so that is definitely staying on this character for our 500th kill. Let's get it done, dudes. Popping recklessness. Let's get out of here, guys. I think it's time to give other people the spot for the day. From that farm, from a thousand mobs, we got 14 gold, 45 silver, and 63 copper. Fantastic, right? Amazing gold. But it's not about the it's not about the gold, it's about the items, right? We got a strong iron lockbox, a schematic goblin landmine, some boots, yada yada, five jades, a sea trine. We got 91 small flame sacks. This is actually gonna be a decent amount of gold here. A bunch of miscellaneous greens. You guys know my rules with greens. I put them up for five gold. If they don't sell, then I vendor them. Three of these uh, longbows, which is kind of odd. Just a bunch of greens. We got nine wicked claws. We got 38 large fangs. 36 ripped wing webbings. Wow, try saying that three times fast. And then 53 brittle dragon bones. So not that many grays now that I look at it. Let's go see how much money we make when we just sell all these grays. So here we are. We are at 14 gold, 45 silver. When we sell all this, it gets us up to a... Wow. Wow. Whopping 15 gold, 96 silver. Let's go, dude. But let's go see what we get when we put all this stuff on the auction house. Let's just start with the big money items, shall we? I want to get these out of my inventory. 154 a pop. I'm cool with that. Let's do about what? I don't know, 50 of these? 
I don't want to flood it. I mean, what I'm do I'm putting 50 up. I mean, I am flooding it, right? But we'll just do 50 because any more than that's a, I mean, that's just ridiculous, right? Jades, C train, Sight train. Anybody know how to say that? B8 large fangs at 50 silver a pop. Not too bad. Am I a jerk for putting these up at one at a one stack? I feel like I'm not. I don't think you would ever need much more than one at a time of these. I hope not. And then I do five gold per green. And then if I don't sell it, I disenchant it or just vendor it. That's my personal thing. I don't know about you guys. I don't know how you guys deal with your billions of greens personally, but this is how I do it. And I mean, obviously, if there are some selling, I uh, try to undercut them, right? Three of these. Let's put all these up for five gold a piece. Make some hunter happy. And the wicked claws. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go get a rogue to open this. A savage axe of the whale. Sweet. <laughs> but it's not about the gold or even the vendorables or the auctionables on this farm. It's about this little green dude right here. Had I had sold him, it probably would have added another 500 gold to the farm. But I just can't. I put too much work into it. And there's some things that are worth more than gold. It's kind of like in life. There are some things that are worth more than money. And honestly, guys, if you're thinking about taking a risk or taking a chance... If a hundred people see this video and a hundred people take a risk, it's going to work for one of you guys. So fucking do it, man. Take that risk. Take that chance. But that about does it for me, guys. I'm really tired. I'm sorry for being a little slow on the end of this one. Uh, I, I don't even want to tell you guys how many hours this took today. It was absolutely unreal. But we got it done. And uh, that's what matters, right? So, guys, please... If you want to head over to my Twitch, I'll leave a link somewhere on screen and in the description, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Trying to get followers for TVC. It'll be dope. Uh, don't remember. Don't. God, I can't talk. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Really helps out a bunch. And guys, real quick, thank you all so much. Every single person who's supported the series so far just by watching, liking, or whatever. Really appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. You guys are the reason this series is happening. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So... I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I hope you stick around for the next ones. My name is Brock Age, and I'll see you guys in the next one.